We're back, and I've already got a correction to make. Betty de Blasio, past president of the Music Parents Association, was kind enough to inform me that the band spectacular to be held October 25th here at Roosevelt Field begins at 7 p.m., so don't come at 7.30 like I told you to because you'll be a half an hour late. The kickoff, it's deep. They let the ball hit, not a pretty play. Ball picked up by Danny Boyd at about the 15-yard line, 15-yard return to the 30. Norristown takes over first and 10 from their own 30-yard line. 11.44 left to play in the third quarter. We're just underway here, the second half of football in what has shaped up to be a fine ball game. Truman is playing a fantastic game. Norristown, much less so. Danny Boyd off the right side. A lot of pursuit. Danny Boyd, no place to go. He picks up two yards. I want to know when Roger Grove's going to start throwing the ball. Apparently, Roger sees something that I don't, that he's got his ground game working, but Norristown's punted the ball several times this evening. And had it not been for that one big run by Danny Boyd, they'd be behind in this ball game. I'd like to see him air it out a little bit. Of course, I don't call the play, so it really doesn't matter what I think, but at least I can say it. <laughs> Stop laughing, Tony. Nobody, nobody cares what you think either. You either, Walt. Second and seven. Out of the eye. Okay, Darryl Moses is going to have a fun time being smothered by those four young men in white shirts and pants. Moses loses a yard on the play. That's tough to do. You think Moses would be able to gain a couple yards, you know? By part. <laughs> he part the part the defense or something like that. I don't know. They don't have red on, so he couldn't couldn't so. part the red defense. Boo. So. It's getting weak here, folks. Real weak. That's what happens when Alan Riley's home in bed, asleep. We hope. Third down and nine. Scott, quick drop, a lot of pressure, screen play, they run it nicely, he's got the blockers out in front, Danny Boyd gets himself all the way back, almost to a first down, I'll tell you, they ran that screen play nicely, folks, sucked the lineman in, then they had the, the guards pull out to block for Danny Boyd, but Danny Boyd was so far back, he had to run 15 yards to get back close to a first down, and he falls one yard short. So, fourth down and one, Scarpula in to do the punting chores. Back deep, Flanagan and Nelson for the Tigers. Good snap, Scarpula's got plenty of time. Nice kick. Oh, Brad Urich takes a clip it looked like, folks. No call, no flags. I'll tell you, that was a marginal call, folks. Uh, run back gets about seven yards, and the Tigers will take possession of the 43-yard line. But I'll tell you, Brad Yorick was down on coverage. He got popped on what looked like his back to me. Yorick's walking off the field saying, hey, what happened, ref? I can hear assistant coach Tom Pirantosi, who's up here in the press box with us, say, come on, ref, that's a clip. Of course, doesn't matter what Tom says either, because if they don't call it, it don't happen. Which is poor English, I know, but it's... Up the middle, Norristown stuffs that play. At time, number 42, Rob Horton in on the play. Once again, we'd like to remind you, this game brought to you by the Norristown Area School District. Tony Coya, our illustrious leader, directing, producing, and now, folks, he even is running camera. Man of many hats, and he needs hats because his hair is thinning. Also, like to thank Paul Bean for running camera here this evening, and Walt Fry for helping me out here tonight. Off the left side, good for about five yards on the play. It'll be third down, and we'll call it three yards to go. Seven fifty-four to play in the third quarter. Still tied at seven. I tell you, these two teams play each other tough. 
I said at the beginning of the program, I thought this would be a Narstown dominating kind of ball game, but not to be. Oh, oh, what a play by Fuller. He's going to pay the price for it. No, he pitches at the last moment. I'll tell you. <laughs> Charles Fisher ran right by Fuller. Fuller just said, no, Charles, I kept the ball. Fisher runs by. Fuller brings it out to the right side. Still good pursuit by Norris. Down the pitch at the last minute to Nelson. Really didn't net anything. And we've got a fourth down situation and one yard to go. So, Brett Queenan will drop back to receive the punt. Nice kick that time. Queenan takes it at his 19-yard line. Oh, Brett, bad news. I don't believe it. Queenan almost did it. Flag on the play. Queenan tried to reverse his field, go back around the right side. No place to go. He almost spun away from two tacklers, but he finally tripped himself up at about the 20, oh, 21-yard line, perhaps. Flag on the play, clipping against Narstown. So that'll move him back deep into their own zone. I see Darren Queenan's here this evening. Uh, Darren, of course, a Narstown star in basketball, went on to Lehigh University. Playing some great basketball for the engineers. And his brother Brett was the young man who returned that punt. 7.22 to go in the third quarter. And that clipping call does a lot of damage to Norristown. They're moved half the distance to the goal line to the 10-yard line. Handoff goes up the middle. Danny Boyd spins and rolls for, oh, maybe four yards on the play. A lot of milling around here going on at Roosevelt Field. Not a whole bunch of fans. I guess you can't complain. It's a chilly evening playing Truman. Not have the drawing power of a PW or a Methacton. Or even a Pensbury for that matter. Of course, all those three games were away this year. Danny Boyd again off the right side. Picks up a couple more. And Danny Boyd, I'm sure, well over 100 yards here this evening. We're not keeping any official statistics. Uh, with a 77-yard run under your belt and a uh, whole bunch of four and five-yard runs, he's certainly well beyond 100 yards and continues his string of 100-yard ball games. Certainly well on his way to another 1,000-yard season for Norristown. Six minutes left in this third quarter, and Frank Winkle's cigar smoke is once again wafting into the press box. Looks like a fog. is. A haze has come over Roosevelt Field. Once again, they run the ball up the middle. Close. Not sure if they got the first down, however. We'll wait for the officials to sort things out and spot the ball. Looks like they have it. Yep, there we go. There's the arm signaling a first down. So Eagles bull their way for a first down. Across the front for Narstown, uh, Carl Schrader, Mike Lynch, Kevin Every, Joe Sambrick, Jim Newby. Brad Yurick, of course, at split end. In the backfield, Moses, Boyd, and Davis. Ed Colbreth at tight end for Narstown. First down and 10 from the 20 yard line. The pitch goes to Boyd. He's got a block this time. Oh, tripped up at the 25 by number 46. That's Keith Fowler. Boyd that time had nice blocking out in front of him. Tripped up by the shoelaces that time. Picks up Ooh, eight yards on the play, however. Second down and two. 
Jim Scott, Danny Boyd again. Danny Boyd, first down. Danny Boyd off the left side. Danny Boyd off the right side. Danny Boyd's the only guy touching the ball tonight. <laughs> now, as a matter of fact, Danny Boyd is being worked heavily tonight, but hey, I mean, he's your, he's your big back, he's your star. Why not give him the ball? Forrest Davis hasn't seen too much action since that fumble in the first half. Brad Yorick's been a non-factor tonight as Norristown has not gone into the air tonight much at all. Danny Boyd this time the pitch right. He's brought down for nothing. He's second down in 10. Seems like for everyone Danny Boyd breaks for eight yards. He has one that he, that he gets no gain. I continue to be surprised at the fact that Norristown has not thrown the ball at all tonight. So far here this evening, I don't think Jim Scott has more than one uh, short completion here tonight. Has only thrown the ball three or four times. There's Forrest Davis. Oh, what a play. Forrest Davis running for the end zone. Nobody's going to touch him, folks. Forrest Davis, touchdown Norristown. And that was a 70-yard run by Forrest Davis. I'll tell you, Roger Grove must have been saying, here, Jeff Brandon, take this. I'm going to run the ball, and I'm going to run for a touchdown. That's why you are not the coach. I tell you, Roger Grove broke that one open with Forrest Davis. Those coaches must have seen something. They knew there was a hole someplace. They just needed to break that seam. And Forrest Davis raced to the end zone 70 yards with 3.14 to play in the third quarter. Norristown goes up on top, 13 to 7. Rob Winnick for the extra point. Snap is good, kick is up, kick is good. 14 to seven, Norris down. I'm gonna have to get warmers for these microphones because these babies are cold. Icicle hands here. But anything for you, Tony, you know that. I'd come out in a, a blizzard to, to help you out, you know that. Sure. I'm, I'm glad. I, right. I'm glad you'd come out in the blizzard. I didn't quite expect it would happen tonight, though. It is getting cold out here. Uh, I, as I suggested earlier, I think we should maybe change this to a summer sport. It's much nicer to work in the press box in the summer. You could actually go out on the roof, maybe get a little sun, a little color, perhaps. Uh, Kill two birds with one stone. That's right. That's right. 14-7 Norristown. Steve Storty kicking off for the Norristown Eagles. Kevin Nelson back deep. A low kick. Taken by one of the up men. Oh my. Takes a flying leap to the middle of the field. Bruce Chess is in on the hit that time, and a punishing hit it was. My goodness, a young man went like a bullet right into the middle of the pack and said, here, kill me, I don't care. Anyway, the ball's at the 35-yard line, so a productive uh, run back and good field position for the Tigers. The timeout on the field. Officials time. For equipment, I believe. Clock is running now with three minutes to play in the third quarter, and Norristown up on top. Penalty on the play, carrying the ball that time, number 33, Jeff Jones for Truman. Truman's used a lot of young men in the backfield there tonight. Illegal procedure called against the Tigers of Truman with 2.47 to play in the third quarter. That'll be a five-yard 
penalty. It'll be first down and 15. Back to pass. Oh, almost intercepted. Finding it was the only man there that time. Kurt Fuller throws into coverage. Kevin Every almost picked that ball off. Incomplete, however, it'll be second down and 15. As I mentioned briefly at halftime, the Eagles will be home here at Narstown's Roosevelt Field for a few games next week, uh, or the week you're watching this, Friday the 17th, they'll be playing Penridge. The following week, CB East here at home. Back down onto the field, Fuller, a lot of time. Kevin Every in pursuit. Can't bring him down. Interception. I'll tell you, nice play by Charles Fisher and a horrible play by Kurt Fuller. Fuller was being pursued that time by number 71, Ed Kerner. Fuller tried to get rid of the ball, and somebody ought to teach him you're supposed to throw it out of bounds when you're going to dump it off. You don't throw it to Charles Fisher especially when he's in a blue uniform and you're playing in white. Like that in-depth analysis of that play, Tony? A little the subtle innu innuendo, the subtleties of the ball game that are just brought out by this piercing commentary. Anyway, Narstan with their first big break of the ball game. Ball at the 26-yard line. Oh, bootleg, I like it. Oh, my goodness. I tell you, Jim Scott could have run for five yards. He elected to throw it to Forrest Davis, incomplete, overthrown. And as I mentioned, um, Narstown will be home for two weeks, the 17th of October against Penridge, the 24th against CB East, two league games. The following week, Halloween, they'll be away at CB West, the number one ranked team in southeastern Pennsylvania, Norristown coming into this ball game, ranked number six by the Philadelphia Inquirer poll. Uh, then the Eagles round out their season with a home game uh, against Abington here at November 7th and away at North Penn November 14th. And then finally a non-league game on Thanksgiving Day here at Roosevelt Field, 10 a.m. against the Vikings of Upper Marion. Danny Boyd. Boyd gets tripped up, but not before he picks up about 10 yards on the play around the left end. Two minutes to play in the third quarter. Narstown driving again, finally starting to generate some offense in this ball game and play the game I anticipated. That first half was uh, a bit touch and go. The defense was a bit porous. But they've tightened things up here in this second half and the Narstown offense is on track. Danny Boyd up the middle, follows his blockers. They bull their way for a first down. It was only third and one. They pick up about five on the play. They're inside the 15. They're going to spot it at about the 11-yard line. So I think we'll have a first and 10 situation. The Eagles can get a first down. And they're going to spot it at the 12, so the Eagles can get a first down at about the two-yard line. Yorick. To the left, Forrest Davis will line up at flanker. Moses and Boyd, Boyd again. This time the pursuit's there. Danny Boyd runs through it. And he's brought down inside the 10 yard line at about the seven. Perhaps even closer in, maybe even closer to the five yard line. Give him a seven yard gain on the play, make it second down and three from the five yard line. Second and three. Jim Scott out of the I formation. Danny Boyd. There he gives it to him. Boyd meets a wall. He tries to bull his way forward, but nothing doing. That time, no holes appeared for Danny Boyd. Boyd has certainly been uh, the workhorse tonight for Roger Grove's offense. Jim Scott really hasn't done too much this evening as far as running the ball himself. 
the quick pitches to Danny Boyd seem to be uh, the norm. And the end of the third quarter will switch ends of the field, walk all the way down to the other end of the field. And uh, Narstad will have the ball third and one at about the four-yard line. Chance for a first down before they get into the end zone. 